So I wanted to give a little update on the 3D modeling app that I'm working on. It's a NURBS based system designed for concept artists uh, who are doing like hard surface design, sci-fi props and, and so forth. Um, people who like the technology of NURBS and are looking for something a bit more uh, flexible and powerful than Moi 3D, um, but also just more playful and easier to use than, say, Fusion 360. I'm not sure the world needs another um, needs another NURBS modeling app. Fusion is amazing, so is Moi, so is Shaper 3D. Um, but I do have eventually, I think, some ideas in mind once I have all the basic functionality working that I think will be innovative and really well suited for um, people who are doing like hard surface sci-fi design. Um, the basic uh, user interface concept that I'm playing with now um, is that the right-hand tool panel has all the basic uh, two-dimensional curve and three-dimensional solids that you can create at any point. And then um, depending on your selection, uh, you'll have contextually aware options available here. So for example, if I have two solids selected, then I will have Booleans available in addition to like move, rotate, and scale. Um, and, oops, that didn't work. Um, anyway, the UI is very rough and the app is quite buggy. For sure, it's gonna take me several more months, six more months before I can do anything like a, like a 1.0 release. Um, but you can sort of see uh, the idea that I'm after with, instead of being a very command oriented UI, you just sort of click on objects and uh, you can push and pull and, and, and be almost as sculptural and clay-like um, as you can with polygons, at least to the, to the extent that, that, it, that that's possible in with working with NURBS and with this particular um, geometry engine. Um, so I sh showed a bit of solid stuff. Also, I should show like the, the sketching concept. So the 2D sketching uh, interface that I, of the approach I'm taking is, what I'm trying to do is take the best of Fusion, Shaper 3D, and Moai. Uh, you can just make uh, three-dimensional curves in the system, um, and that can be interesting in the context, for example, of spirals and whatever. And and so forth. But if objects are planar and they include and they enclose regions, or um, those regions say overlap or intersect, uh, we'll automatically combine them in a way that uh is useful hopefully um and uh that's kind of a nice really rapid way of starting with you know a two-dimensional sketch to to create i don't know a potentially interesting object um i like that and i don't know from here we just start giving something form. Uh, maybe I don't love that, or I want to create kind of a stepping effect. I'll just Boolean these together. Um, give that a little fillet. Uh, actually, let me undo that. I'm going to show how to do variable fillets. You know, there's this little fillet gizmo you can use. Actually, it's a little bit too sensitive right now. But you can also say hit the A key. And anywhere along the curve, we can add this little acupuncture needle to like make it variable, fatter, thinner right there. 
Um, uh, you also have all these various options over here where you can tweak things numerically if you want. But in general, uh, the system is designed to kind of have a bunch of really nice gizmos as well as like really keyboard friendly um, usage that is very inspired by say Blender. So for example, if I hit G and have the move gizmo, um, you know, I can drag everything around, but I can do G X to move in the X axis or, or Y or Z or shift Z to be in the X, uh, in the X, Y plane, uh, and so forth. So almost all of the, uh, commands have gizmos as well as these sort of key bindings. So for example, um, like the spiral gizmo, oops, um, we can tweak this thing or we can just hit A and move the mouse or hit D and move the mouse or hit R and move the mouse. And so that is kind of more the, the Blender style of working. So I'm hoping to kind of have the best of both worlds and eventually, you know, I'm gonna have features like modifiers and, and uh, well, an important goal is that this have be familiar to Blender users from the get go. Um, so anyway, that's it for now. And uh, I think um, it's gonna take a long time before before I'm done. And it's, uh, it's a huge project, but uh, hopefully this is a cool video moment in time of, of what it looks like. Uh,